what's up, Blazy League fans and others of some fun's video? I am back with a vengeance. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm back home. Finally. Yes, I'm back home. Finally. Now, this video is actually kind of late. Uh, I was supposed to upload it earlier, but I, like, I just got, I got back, like, yesterday, right? So, like, a lot of my stuff had, actually, yeah, yes, no, the day before yesterday. Yesterday I had class. But, like, I've had so much stuff, like, I had to get all, all my stuff out of my suitcase, I had to clean up some stuff, because I finally was able to move everything back into this room, because, uh, well, now the old room is now my dad's office again, so I had to get everything out of there and put it in here. So, uh, this is technically a new series, uh, for the Elysian League stuff, uh, where I discuss my opponent for the, for the week. Uh, I'm going to show you guys like a picture of his team or her team, their team. I'll just say like that, their team. And then talk about the threats, you know, potentials in certain moves or certain Pokemon. Uh, I don't want to talk about my stuff because I feel like that kind of screwed me over last season. I talked about my teams and what I'm going to bring or like potential Pokemon I would bring. So this season, I just kind of want to just talk about the threats I see on the opponent's team. I, I kind of want to go a little bit of detail on all their mods, but mainly... The biggest things I need to worry about and not what I'm going to use to try to count them because that's just bad. I just should not do that again ever again because I, I think that really messed me up. I, there were certain matches I would have won if had I not said anything at all. Let's, let's put it out there right now. So, um, we have uh, this is the team right there. Boom. They're right there. Boom. You can look at it for, for like a second or two or so. So, it's right there. Uh, and now it's gone. Whoa! Magic of editing. <laughs> anyway, so Manaphy is the first Pokemon I see on this team. That is, last season Joey had it, and he uses a freaking monster. Manaphy is a very bulky mon. Uh, has a lot. Like it's well, it has base 100 on all stats, but it can be run, and because of that, it can be run a variety of ways. But uh, it's 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 Tail Glow. T Tail Glow is the thing. That is that is the main thing. Like when you see Manaphy. You think of Tail Glow. That's a plus three special attack. So it's, you know, Tail Glow, three moves, just done. You know, that, it's a very powerful mod. And because of how bulky it is, well, I don't see a lot of people run speed, but it is it is possible to run a speed. Uh, and if, obviously, I don't see a Pokemon on this guy's team that could set up, you know, rain besides Manaphy and, like, Articuno. Um, so I don't know, like, hydration is not going to be a big thing here. So. If you just weaken at that like that, you know, status it should, you know, be okay. But usually you want to get a toxic. Burn's not going to help you with anything. Uh, and process is not going to help you much because, you know, there. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a very good mod. It's a very bulky mod. Last season put in a lot of work. Uh, the other one I want to talk about, Infernape. Has, there's so many ways to run Infernape. You have lead, for, you know, lead 8, Stealth Rocks. You have the one that has Fake Out. You have full-on, like, Offense. Uh, with Life Orb, you have Focus Sash, you have Mixed Ape, you have Full-On Special Attacking Ape, you know, that's a, again, Fire Ape is a very versatile Pokemon, and I'm definitely, you know, kind of concerned about him, I, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to, like, stop him, you can't burn him, so if he's a physical attacker, you're done, uh, you can't burn him because he's a fire type, um, but it's a very good mod, Close Combat, Fire Blast, Overheat, you know, has a lot of options, uh, and Iron Fist also, so you can get all the, like, elemental punches, it's a good mine uh, overall, so I thought it was a great pick. Uh, I don't know too much, but I mean, I I personally love uh, Rotom Mode the most out of all the Rotom forms, but I don't know too much about how you know somebody would run it in a league format or just in general because I used to use it just randomly. Uh, so that's a thing, you know. That's that's just out there to you. You guys can maybe talk about ideas. The other mod, this now this is a one I because this is where Trick Room is can potentially be a thing. Dusnor is a Pokemon, first off, it's very defensive. Like, it's a very defensive mon. Uh, very high physical attack. I believe it's base 110. I don't, I can't recall right now, and I hate the fact that I, I don't have these things already set up, but Dusnor is a very strong defensive Pokemon. And there's time, you can run Trick Room, and that's the thing that, so, uh, besides, like, his Mega Gardevoir, Crobat, and then like Inferni, most of his other mons could be run as slow Pokemon that then would benefit from Trick Room. So if he does decide to bring a Trick Room team, 
that's 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 there. It's a possibility. Uh, but then he would have to bring a lot of a lot of his slower mind. So Mayor Gardevoir would not be too good in there unless you bring Dust in a late game and just have the the slower Pokemon do like a late game sweep. If Gardevoir goes down, type of thing. But um, Dust is very interesting. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. You no, know, he's gonna do with this one. Articuno and uh, Articuno is my favorite of the three birds. Let me just say that right off the bat. But realistically speaking, it's not that good competitive wise. Uh, it has a really good special defense. I'll give it that. But like other than that, Stealth Rock sort of thing. And I honestly, he has a, eh, two potential hazard removals with uh, Avalog and Crobat, but. Avalog being weak to it and also having very low special defense, it's not going to help him out too much. And Crobat, I, I mean, I've seen defense of Crobat with Defog, so, I mean, it is possible, but then he would have to waste a slot and make it a full-on, I mean, not waste a slot, but make it a full-on defensive set, so, um, I don't know, it's a trade there. Uh, Aracuno, I just don't think, I mean, then again, I might be proven wrong, I don't know. Uh, if, that's if, the, that's if he brings it, remember, that's six mons out of, these what uh 11 so you never know uh mega gardevoir always always a threat it's always a threat you should never sleep on mega gardevoir uh pixelate is a fucking beast of an ability hyper voice just wrecks through everything i think it goes through substitutes uh so it's just not a fun time but i'm gonna have to find a way to deal with that damn thing being psychic fairy is not going to be easy to handle, so I'm going to have to look at my roster and figure out what I have that could potentially deal with the monster. Uh, Hippowdon, fuck Hippowdon, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Hippowdon, you know, defensive as hell. I've noticed he has a lot of physically defensive stuff in here. That might be a thing I can exploit. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Hippowdon sets up sand, which doesn't really help too much in his, in his, Team core, like there's only one other mod that can somewhat be okay with it, which is the Scavalier. But other than that, everything else does not benefit from Sand at all. So, uh, you know, there's no Sand. You can't build a Sand team with what he has. Uh, but he does have access to Stealth Rocks. It has access to Whirlwind. No, Whirlwind or Roar. I think it has both. Uh, it's a very defensive, bulky mod. So you, you'll have another defensive core right there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Crobat. Uh, like I said, if he wants to run Defog, that's also that limited to a defensive set. I personally prefer the Choice Bandit set because Crobat is a fucking beast. Uh, my first ever, you know, my first ever non like, uh, how do I say this? Besides, after Red Gyarados, my first actual shiny was a Crobat or was Zubat that then became Crobat back all the way in Pokemon Ruby. So I have a lot of love for this Pokemon, and it's just a beast. It is, it is a definitely like a a very strong mon. Uh, Avalog, like I said, spinner support realistically, but it's for death is so bad, so I don't know. Um, what is this? Dragalge. Um, I like it. I like it as a mon, uh, as, an, as a, uh, a battling mon. Uh, I was a little mixed with it when it first showed up, and I was like, what the fuck? This thing looks weird, but it's, it's very good. Uh, I've seen Assault Vest and Choice Specs, uh, so it definitely has, it ha actually, that, that is a, a, a very spadef mod, so I'll give him that. It, it does you don't really need an Assault Vest with it, because it's, it, it's, it can tank without one, but I usually like to run it with an Assault Vest, just make it spadef even way higher, and then just make it a, like a physical defensive wall, so that it has both, um, and then, you know, just blasting away. But the Toys Mech set has been shown off to be like a very dangerous thing, you know. Draco Meteor, Sludge Bomb. Uh, it's a deadly combo right there. And then Excavalier, which is just like, uh, to me personally, Excavalier is like a man mod. I don't really think there's too much it can do. Uh, I know that I've seen it have like Mega Horn Drill Run type of thing, and they're using like Life Orb and stuff like that. But I don't know, it's so slow, and defenses aren't the greatest, so like. A fire type move is just gonna go, but it's just crazy. Uh, but overall, like a very solid draft. I'm definitely have to watch out for some of these things. Like I said, my main concerns are the Manaphy, the Infernape, Dustnort, Mega Gardevoir, Hippowdon, and Crobat. And maybe you can add a Dragology in there. Those those seven mods are, you know, I'm not too concerned about Roto Mo because I just, I, I mean, honestly, I probably should because I like the Pokemons and I know that it has a lot of capabilities, but I just don't see what it can bring to the table. 
Uh, Articuno, uh, Avalog, eh, and then the Scavalier is just meh. So, but overall, like, it's, I mean, if he brings those mods and does well, like, kudos to, you, to him, obviously. But to me, I'm mainly, my actual, like, full-on main concerns is Manaphy, Mega Gardevoir, and Hippowdon. Those three are, like, the biggest threats for me, personally, that I'm going to have to worry about and see what i got to do with Kernib is a potential threat. Dust Noir is very defensive. It can run Trick Room, so if it decides to run a slower set, it's a thing. And then, uh, obviously, Crobat is a monster, so... You should always watch out. Crobat is a Pokemon you cannot just sleep on. It, it's a very good Mon. Um, so yeah, like I'm definitely looking forward to it. This is my first week matchup, so it's crazy. A lot of these, actually, most of the drafts are actually pretty good. I can't wait to see some of these matches uh, over over the season. It's definitely looking like great. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, watching out for some of these mods. It's gonna be uh, crazy. I can't wait. I'm excited. Season one starts this week end i should say that like that weekend um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i'm so is croxon and i'll see you guys in future videos